I mean, it seems intuitive to me, but I don't know what the evidence is that sleep deprivation would tend to also run with hypercortisolemia. We can see why hypercortisolemia would drive sleep deprivation. Do we think that there's a feedback loop that is in the wrong direction, i.e. the more sleep deprivation you have, the more cortisol that the animal or human tends to produce? That's exactly what we see typically, yeah. And if you can go into that state chronically, which is what most of society is not pulling all-nighters, most of society is chronically underslept. So what you end up doing is having this kind of chronic mid to high level of hypercortisolemia and that is leading to all of this cascade of biology that is non-optimal part of which is a collection of changes not just in the brain but also in the body too that cortisol spike can actually lead to things like anxiety and what you should not have if you're looking for good sleep is a high level of cortisol and so it's bi-directional that the less that you're sleeping, the higher that cortisol level. If that cortisol level stays high at night, it's very difficult to get the good sleep that you need and so on and so forth. And that might also be evolutionary, right? It might be that when the animal is sleep deprived, the evolutionary trigger is there's a reason you're sleep deprived. You will need more cortisol. That's right. I had this discussion with Robert Sapolsky where we went into great detail about the role of cortisol in the subacute level of stress, which is actually for many people not the stress we're under, but evolution doesn't know the difference. Right. Yeah. We've imposed sort of the mental saber tooth tiger, yeah. which is called societally triggered anxiety. I should put fangs on my phone. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's nothing more than a collection of electronics. And yet it induces in me the same feeling as a saber tooth tiger would if it were just growling around me from a hundred yards away in perpetuity. Yeah. And just like the, you have night shift on your iPhone, there's fangs during the day you should switch to a sign with a lots of Z's and then a big strike against them over the, because that's essentially what it's going to do to your sleep as well. Well, let's talk a little bit about the wind down routine then. That's a nice foray into that. Thank you for listening to today's sneak peek AMA episode of The Drive. If you're interested in hearing the complete version of this AMA, you'll want to become a member. We created the membership program to bring you more in-depth, exclusive content without relying on paid ads. Membership benefits are many, and beyond the complete episodes of the AMA each month, they include the following. Ridiculously comprehensive podcast show notes that detail every topic, paper, person, and thing we discuss on each episode of The Drive. Access to our private podcast feed. The Qualies, which were a super short podcast, typically less than five minutes, released every Tuesday through Friday, which highlight the best questions, topics, and tactics discussed on previous episodes of The Drive. This is particularly important for those of you who haven't heard all of the back episodes. It becomes a great way to go back and filter and decide which ones you want to listen to in detail. Really steep discount codes for products I use and believe in, but for which I don't get paid to endorse and benefits that we continue to add over time. If you want to learn more and access these member-only benefits, head over to peteratiamd.com forward slash subscribe. Lastly, if you're already a member, but you're hearing this, it means you haven't downloaded our member-only podcast feed where you can get the full access to the AMA and you don't have to listen to this. You can download that at peteratiamd.com forward slash members. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all with the ID Peter Atia MD. You can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast player you listen on. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies. Mm -hmm.